This is going to be the next episode of God's Game of Thrones. And in this episode, we're looking at the transition period, postponement theory, and an overall look at the book of Acts. We just got done seeing how Jesus offered both kingdoms to the Jews when he came the first time. They rejected him. And now we're going into the book of Acts, which is a transitional book. It transitions from God dealing with Israel to God dealing with the church because he's provoking Israel to jealousy with the church. And as you know, the Jews rejected the preaching of John the Baptist. That was their first rejection. Uh, John the Baptist was preaching in Matthew 3, 1 through 2. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. When Jesus Christ came, he was offering both kingdoms to the Jews. They rejected the preaching of John. They rejected the preaching of Jesus. Two of the greatest preachers. Jesus being the greatest. John right below him. And when they rejected Jesus Christ and he was crucified, that was their second rejection. However, when Jesus Christ was on the cross, he said in Luke 23, 34, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Then you have the last chance for the Jews in the first seven chapters of the book of Acts. There you will have apostles like Peter and Stephen preaching to the Jews about their rejection of the Messiah. And in Acts chapter 7, they have one final rejection. They don't listen to the preaching of Stephen, and they stone him. And at this point, God postpones the physical kingdom of heaven and has the kingdom of God running through the church. So that's the postponement theory right there, that God postponed the kingdom because of the Jews' rejection. And right now, we're in that postponement period. We're in the church age right now. That's the age we're in now, the church age. The moment you believed the gospel, you were put into the body of Christ, which is the church, and you entered into the kingdom of God. And we're not dealing with the kingdom of heaven today. What we're about is the kingdom of God. But in Acts 1 through 7, God deals with the nation of Israel. In Acts 8 through 20, he's dealing with the church. In Acts 21 through 28, it deals with Paul going down to Jerusalem and Rome. And that, that's a quick little breakdown of the book of Acts, which is a transitional book. It's a hard book for a lot of people. It's a hard book for everybody, really. When Israel rejected that third time, the Lord postponed the kingdom of heaven. The Jews could have received Jesus. They had the free will to receive Jesus. They didn't have to reject him. The Lord would still have been crucified. If they, if they accepted him, the Lord would still have been crucified, buried, and resurrected. The tribulation would have started, and Jesus Christ would have come back to bring in the kingdom. But there would be no church age. Jesus Christ and John the Baptist both preached that the kingdom was at hand. However, the condition was behind, behind it was for them to repent, but they didn't. Uh, Jesus Christ said himself that John the Baptist would have been Elijah. If they would have accepted Jesus, then John the Baptist would have been Elijah. And this would have fulfilled the scripture that, I, that said Elijah would come before the day of the Lord. In Matthew eleven twelve through 14, it says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent Take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you will receive it, if you will receive it, this is Elias, which is Elijah, which was for to come. But they didn't receive it. And then in Malachi 4, 5, it says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. But since they rejected Jesus, John the Baptist wasn't Elijah, so Elijah has to come back. Uh, in the in the tribulation, he's going to be one of the two witnesses. Now, he did come at the Mount of Transfiguration, but he, he's coming back in the tribulation as one of the two witnesses that you read about in Revelation. So the Lord had it worked out to where Scripture would have been fulfilled no matter if the Jews accepted Jesus or rejected him. But when Jesus Christ came, they chose to reject him, as you know. And during the Lord's earthly ministry, he had to depart into a mountain alone because men were going to try and make him a king. These men were not looking forward to a cross. They were looking forward to a kingdom. 
They wasn't looking forward to the Son of God to come down the cross. They were looking for the Son of God to come bring in His kingdom. That's why the saying, they were looking forward to the cross, doesn't make any sense. Just like Abraham was said to be looking for a city. In Hebrews 11.10 it says, For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. He was looking for the day of the Lord. John 8.56, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. My day is the day of the Lord, the second coming. God, Jesus Christ, bringing in his kingdom. They were looking for a king, not someone who was going to die on the cross. John 6.15 says, When Jesus therefore perceived that they would come and take him by force to make him a king, he departed again into a mountain himself alone. So, And you can see how the devil was trying to make him a king in exchange for worship. But Jesus knew the cross had to come before he set up the kingdom on earth. That's why he didn't want these people coming trying to make him a king. It was too early. But the disciples were even looking for him to quickly set up a physical kingdom on earth before he was crucified and right after. They hadn't been looking forward to the cross as many teach. They were looking forward to a physical kingdom. As it says in Matthew 20, 20 and 21, Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou, she saith unto him, grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on thy left, in thy kingdom. You see, they were looking at that kingdom, not at a crucified Savior. Even after the resurrection, they were still looking for Jesus to bring in the kingdom then. They weren't seeing a church age. In Acts 1, six, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So the rejection of Jesus Christ caused the Lord to postpone the physical kingdom of heaven for a while. And right now, in this age we're in now, the kingdom of heaven is in, or the kingdom of God is in operation, not the kingdom of heaven. And you enter the kingdom of God by believing in Jesus Christ, and it is a spiritual kingdom. But there's so many interesting things that happen during this transition period in the book of Acts. These Incredibly strange things don't happen today because we are now operating by faith and not by sight. But during this transition period, the Jews required a sign. According to 1 Corinthians one twenty two. that's why you see the Apostle Paul sending handkerchiefs that can heal people. The shadow of Peter passing by them could heal them. You saw the, the Acts chapter 2 where they uh, spoke in tongues and the people could hear them in their own language. You saw the Apostle Paul visibly sees and hears the Lord on the road to Damascus. You saw all these miracles, all this healing and speaking in tongues and things like that because this was a transition book. It was transitioning from God dealing with Israel into the church. And that's why you have all these things because the Jews require a sign. And the Apostles were still confirming the word with signs following, just like Mark 16 says. But today the Lord speaks to us through the Bible, not in a physical appearance. Today we have the complete Bible, and Peter says we have a more sure word of prophecy. Acts is a tough book, but if you understand that it's a transition book, if you understand that it's God, a transition from God dealing with Israel, and to dealing with the church, then you'll understand it a lot better. You just can't make, you know, big clear-cut lines through the Bible. There's transitions that take place, just like there's going to be a probably a transition from the church age into the tribulation. Probably the, the first thing that's going to happen, because since it's going back to God dealing with Israel and getting the tribulation, the first sign, because... The Jews require a sign. 1 Corinthians one twenty two says, The first sign for Israel is going to be the rapture. All these people just vanishing. I mean, that's a sign. That's a big sign to start out the tribulation for the Jews who require a sign. But this has been 
the transition period, the postponement theory, and a quick overview of the book of Acts.